Uh, uh, Chris Chenock here for Display Central. I'm with Jason Goodman at the 3D Awards ceremony. Uh, you're going to get an award tonight, Jason. So tell me about that. Well, I've actually just been informed that I'm the first double award recipient in the history of the event. So very I was nice. very pleased to hear that. Indeed. Yeah. Well, there, what, tonight we're uh, receiving an award for the development of optical HIT, the optical horizontal image translation technology yep. that we first created in 2008 for the 3DVX3. Yes. And uh, also for the implementation of a quarter wave retarder in a beam splitter cinematography application. That's, uh, that's is that patentable? Well, no. Oh. <laughs> no I've, already, I've, I've already released it into uh, the public domain. So, so. the first award was uh, um, for the uh, HIT. Right, uh, optical, optical, optical HIT. So what we did when we made that sort of Frankenstein DBX 100 3D camera back in 2004, there were a lot of iterations of that camera. It was a very evolutionary design. As time went on, we kept improving it. The final implementation of that design involved the optical HIT system, which basically took over the image stabilization, yeah. which is a little, a little sub-element inside the lens that's yeah. designed to defeat camera shake. Yeah. So we eliminated that, and we decided we would use a steady cam when we want stabilization in our footage. And we added some controls that allowed us to control the horizontal and vertical position of images as they fall on the sensor. So this allowed us to eliminate any vertical uh, misalignments yep. and also to control zero parallax distance without having to tow the cameras inward. Right. So uh, to, you're physically moving the sensor, essentially. Well, we're actually moving a lens. So just as oh, if you take your glasses off and move them, the image will shift a little. Or in a video projector with lens shift, you know, the chip stays stationary. But, but the optics are moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's now been implemented by Panasonic and Sony, and it's essentially an industry standard for broadcast 3D cameras. I wonder if it's in this camera, too, this JVC. Um, I believe this camera might utilize uh, a larger than 1920 by 1080 sensor, and it's digitally doing it, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Shake it around and see what happens. Okay. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Chris.